Good to see you. Look at that pile of stuff they want us to go through. And here on two now, Newsnight. Was it a news programme? Was it a current affairs programme? Did those labels matter at all? Look at this. Director News and Current Affairs said what Newsnight epitomised, namely a rationalisation and amalgamation of News and Current Affairs expertise. It wasn't <laughs> just that News and Current Affairs were different departments, they had different cultures, they were in different buildings miles, miles away from each other. And so I think the idea of amalgamating became not only a problem with the unions, yeah. but it was a problem in the management's mind yeah. because half the senior management yeah. were ex-current affairs people yes. and they didn't want news messing things yes. about. And for, for news's part, they thought current affairs kind of frivolous. <laughs> management had had to withdraw from the Radio Times at the 11th hour the billings for the first week of Newsnight. You see, the point was that they thought that if they put the billing in, the union would say, ha ha, now they put the billing, they've got to give us so what we see, want. Yes. Little and large are among the casualties, and with the holidays soon to begin, many children's programmes have had to be abandoned too. Now it seems completely absurd, because the whole place of the unions has changed so much. Yeah. I can know how frustrated we all were. Charles Wheeler, he's writing this wonderful memo. We, the staff assigned to Newsnight, are deeply concerned about the continuing drift in negotiations. We believe this now seriously threatens not only the most promising development in BBC news and current affairs, quite right, for many years, but also jobs and opportunities and so on. And of course, once we were on the air, all this seemed ridiculous, didn't yes. it? There was never any problem between news and current affairs people. None whatever. None at all. Because it was billed for that Monday, we went on preparing the programme. But the ABS gave an instruction that staff weren't to work on it. But someone in the Telecine department was told nonetheless to, I don't know, load a film or something refused to do it, was sent home for refusing, at which point the thing rapidly escalated yes. because the ABS said, well, if he's been sent home for doing that, nobody works on anything. Yes. The programme didn't happen on Monday and didn't happen on Tuesday. We've just heard that the BBC's first television news and current affairs programme, Newsnight, will be broadcast for the first time tonight. We didn't know till about four o'clock in the afternoon that Wednesday's programme was going to happen. What we did have was Monday's programme, which would, if it had ever seen the light of day, have been rather good. And remember, we did transfer one of the reports. Here we are, the old titles. Love the titles. Good evening and welcome, at last, to Newsnight. In the light of all that's happened in the last few days, <laughs> what should it allow them? Slightly clipped, isn't it? I, mean, I wouldn't yeah, talk yeah, like that now. Secretary, I figure. Tonight. From the military bases... I do love those models. They do tell the story very well. ...in a series of sharp dashes across the entire width. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? I remember saying when, at the start to everybody, we've got to put clear water between us and the news. And I want you to go for news stories, things that haven't been on the news agenda necessarily. So you could watch another news programme and switch across to us, or you could say, what I get on BBC Two is a different take. Well, this is roughly the way we'll be going tonight. I was a bit nervous, but not that nervous, because we've done so many pilot programmes for the last four months, mm -hmm. that it seemed automatic. But it was very exciting. We, we have got here a memo from the farm. Mr Wilcox said that Peter Snow sometimes put too much emphasis on his words. <laughs> Sounds like me. Graham MacDonald had found the programme so far quite heavy going. By contrast, Roderick Graham said the weather was his favourite item. <laughs> England and Wales will begin the day wet and windy, with snow on hills in the north, but brighter weather in the south. Tomorrow, 
course, we'll be back at our regular time of 10.45 with the second edition of Newsnight. Good night. It came together at the end. That's the, it came, that's the point. <laughs> Looking at these papers, I might not have been so confident.